guess I'm going to be just to all the great. Alright, this is a big one. I just want to show us how to fix our drives to uh, configure them to have us a particular drive letter or if you like drive number so that they don't get to they don't get to be randomly assigned. Before now you should know that uh, this computer generates any letter for any drive you plug in. Okay, and it does that in and any window at all, whether 11, 10, 7 or 8, it does that, it's random, but you just need to set it. Okay, you need to set it and stop it from behaving in that way. Okay, so but there's, there's a way to play about it. And why is this important? Let's talk, let's talk about the benefits. It's important if you're an After Effects user, you definitely don't want to be having After Effects you know, being oriented all the time about the letter that has changed and all that. So if you look at my drives here, of, of course, C drive is uh, by default assigned to the, uh, to, the, to the hard drive containing the OS as a operating system. And uh, from, from D, anything can be assigned because the D here is a drive, but for some computers, maybe if their drive was disabled, the number can be given to the next thing that plugs in to the flash. Okay, we have E here because uh, I have a what's it called? I have a special drive. You know, I have a special drive that has that E. Then I yes, the Google Drive. Yes, Google kinds of configures the space out of the hard drive, like a partition space, and gives it a letter G. So this is like configured by. The Google, maybe you just install the Google Drive on your desktop or laptop, okay? Then, the next one is my hard drive. That's my external hard drive. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that external hard drive because it's a, a no BS, okay? Except I decided to combine it during the video. Okay, so but this external hard drive now is just one single hard drive. There's no partition, okay? And... The letter M is assigned. I have assigned this marker M, and I have this set to set, and I have this USB drive M. Okay. Now, if I plug a new flash drive, I'm gonna plug it right now. And that's what we're, we're gonna play with. If I plug in a new flash drive, I think I'm giving it one number two. Let me see. I don't, I don't remember doing that, but if I have, fine. Okay. I'm not sure. So it it will be a random number. Or, or the number next to it, you know, because we have had, we have already had C, we have had D, we have had E, so F is the next one. Yes, if we plug another one, but there's no space. Okay, I only have four ports, and I have one, two, three, four, find the rest. So, because I've assigned a uh, letter to this, and I've assigned letter to this, and I've assigned letter to this, so this is the only one I've never assigned letter to, and. Uh, I'm going to unplug it again so you see that it's something nice uh, can be removed and can be fixed, okay? So I'll remove it now and it's gone. So I'm going to put it back. Put it in it. There you go. The antivirus will respond first. Yeah, it's okay. It's there. It's back. So, alright, so that's the sorry, responded late antivirus. Okay, so that's the drag letter. Basically, it's, I think it's almost empty. So it's, it's empty. Okay, I used it in, in the public uh, so uh, let me scan it for a show. The virus following me. Okay, no issues for Thank you. Alright, so to set this, it's, it's very easy. Okay, all you need to do is uh, you can go to, you can decide to click manage here when you select because this is selected. And decide to click manage here. Or even if you are using a Windows 7, Windows XP, it, all you need to do is because this was replaced, uh, you know, with a PC, it was in Windows 7 as my computer or computer. I need it. XP is my computer, and so as we evolved, they started replacing computer and started putting PC. So, if you are wherever, whatever it is, this PC, computer, anything at all, just right click that's the main thing and click manage, okay. If you click on manage, it's going to 
load up load up uh, particular dialog box yeah that's it so when it loads it up let me just widen it there you are. so you go down to under storage you have this management so select the piece management it's going to load all the days you can see it says it's connecting to virtual disk service it's going to load everything you have in the system and then show you all the drives partitions give you the information and a few things like that it's just it's just being slow it's just being slow but definitely to load Okay, let's wait a bit, let's wait a bit. It's going to load loading this configuration information. Okay. Once it's loaded, we're going to see all the drives, just like we've seen in uh, the other side. So, yeah, it's loaded now. Yeah, it's loaded. Okay. So, we have the F, and we have a lot of other information coming here. There are partitions that are here that are, that are like uh, hidden from us here okay they are necessary because the system works with it so it, it cannot show in where you use it so don't even concern yourself with it because like what you are seeing here disk zero is a disk that is in this system that's a disk that takes the c uh letter drive letter and so there's a reserved amount of 50 mb you know, for the system healthiness, and there's another reserved amount of 505 MB for the system healthiness too. And we have my disk now, so this is my one terabyte marker. You can see it now right at 1.51 gigabytes. Okay, and there's no partition, I didn't create any partition because it's basically for storage. But over here is my other external drive, it was 500 gigabytes and it's 100 MB. Um, it's partitioned. I mean, sorry, it's 500 gigabytes, and you have partitions where the system is using. It's okay. This drive was once uh, once uh, used for operating system. I used it for operating system. I think that's what I changed with the SSD I have in this now. All right. Okay. So the next one is the flash drive. Okay. You can see that you know how you can get to the flash drive is fast. The facts, the table file, okay. Uh, file allocation table, why this is a uh, NTFS. I don't think I remember the name again, but that's just the file types, right? So then you have the one, the other one, this is that to be, this is a stinging flash, and this is a to be flash. So in this that to be flash is the random one. So how do we change it now? We want to give it a particular number. So every time we plug it and unplug it, it will have that number. Okay, so I'm going to select it and right click. And you see, change drive letter and path. So when you select it, change drive letter and path. Here's here where you get to change it. So you can just select uh, change. And when you come here, assign the following drive letter. There are letters that are vacant here. Okay. Let me use my name, my initial O. Okay. So when I click on O. I say some programs that rely on drive letters might not run correctly. Do you want to continue? Yes. Uh, what this is saying is that if maybe something is open from this flash, immediately we are doing this, that thing is going to disconnect the flash. I mean, it's disconnect from the flash. So it's like it will lose its origin. Where is it opening from? Okay, so that's why it's very good that you do this when you don't have anything connected to that. Like, for instance, now if I've actually connected this flash drive to the uh, after effects or any other program at this point now after effect will not find it again. okay so that's it so i'm going to say yes to that and it's just basically going to reassign the letter oh, to it i want to scroll down to here it's working it's busy it's busy i don't want to see it here while it's doing its thing yeah it's done it already okay but i don't know why it's taking time to go it's done it it's taking time to go. Okay, finally. So that's it. So that's the two gig and it's taking the old space now. So that's the old space now. So now this drive is still here, but let me just close this management and open here. So I'm going to unplug the drive. Okay. And it's gone. I'm going to unplug my other USB drive, which is bearing the end. 
and it's gone. And I'm going to stop plugging. I should use the time. Okay, it's gone now. Right, so I'm going to plug the drive with the O letter and you will see automatically it still takes the O and takes its position. Okay, you know, once you plug it, they arrange themselves alphabetically and said it's always last. Okay, so that's just basically it. So I hope this video is very useful to you. It definitely should be useful, but if you're an After Effects user and you have uh, a very small internal space, maybe you're using an SSD because SSD makes uh, 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 it kind of uh, makes your operation fast in the system and even in your After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator, SSD is very fast. But you know, it's pretty expensive. I want to see gigabyte can be as much as maybe twenty dollars or more. Okay, if you're converting to Naira in Nigeria, converting to Naira could be fifteen to twenty thousand. Okay, so you basically want to use something that is you know, okay for you. Uh, you. I mean, you want to find it very easy while using After Effects. So that's why you need to do this. Okay, uh, you can you used to you you need to have an external uh, storage. And a way to do that is after we have assigned this letter O oh, now, like we have assigned this. Okay, I always try to use these set tools, and I have a folder created here as cache. Okay, it's inside this cache now that. I have all the things I do. I play with After Effects here, but because my system has a 500 gigabyte SSD, you know, that's quite high. It's almost a hundred dollars. Okay, it, because it has it, I don't use it for the catch again. Now, what was what's catch? Okay, let me go to After Effects and explain that. So, if you go to your Edit menu, they get to Preferences and you get to your Media and this catch. This is where you can make After Effects to be fast and slow. If it's going to be assessing, like when After Effects is working, all those effects we apply, they all, they all, they all take space in the system. So you might need an external drive where After Effects is busy using those things, especially when it's rendering or when it's displaying. You are trying to replay it. So it loads, first of all, it loads those data into somewhere, then collects from there to replay. You get so you don't have to have lag behind videos and stuff like that. So that's why it's very, very necessary. So uh I actually clicked on this. So and you can choose the folder, and when you choose the folder here, yeah, you can just go uh you know, when you click choose folder, you can go to where you have the set tools. And select it and the folder you created you can just select it and select the folder so after effect you'll be dumping things here now look at what it says here it says for improved performance choose a disk folder on a fast drive or ssd separate from your footage and allocate as much space as possible so this is the advice and even after effect is given to you so you don't want to joke with this advice it, it will improve the performance of uh, After Effects. It's a very heavy program because what we do is a very heavy thing. So it's very, very important. And you can assign the amount of drive you want. Okay, that's a 500 gig. So 5 gig is just like 1 over 5, less than 1 over 5 of it. Okay, so I can increase that if I want, but I don't. 75 gig is okay. Okay, so and uh, you know, when you experience loneliness after a while, you can come here and empty the disk catch. But always enable this. Use it, okay? Enjoy it. That's how you enjoy after effect. Okay? Then you can also change the folders of this, but they are not as, as necessary as this particular section. Okay? So that's very, very important. So that's why uh, assigning the drive letter is important. And if you do not assign the drive letters, after effect, you will lose this particular letter when maybe a new drive is plugged and you know, the old drive is removed to lose it, to not be able to find it. It's a very, very important things. Alright? So thank you very much for this video. If you definitely like what we're doing here, definitely you need to subscribe and enroll for the animation class that's already ongoing. God bless you. Until next class. Peace.